Welcome back to Central News. As we know, Priority One has taken on the challenge of the Taringa business case, with the bottom line being people, place, profit and potential. There are a number of local businesses in the area as case studies, one of which is Multifid Technology International, located in Gretton. James Graham tells us more about Multifid and how it fits in with the four Ps. James, for those that don't know, what is Multifid? Uh, Multifid Technologies are uh research and development company, mainly doing design and uh, supply of uh, high-tech military and industrial um, technology products. Uh, we do, for example, communication systems for vehicles and uh, using GPS in some cases. In other cases, we're using ultrasonic and radio for um, collision avoidance. So how did you get into this industry? I've been involved in um, this industry for many years, basically came out of school, studied and uh, got right involved in South Africa a long time ago. Yeah. Now why did you decide to migrate to New Zealand and set up business in Tauranga? Okay, well specifically New Zealand because um, I have a brother here in New Zealand and uh, we have a problem in South Africa with uh, getting good design engineers and we're quite keen to get out of the country because we've got young children and uh, so we came over to New Zealand, had a look around and we were looking to see w which was the best place to come to. And uh, after being Christchurch, Wellington, Auckland, uh, we settled on Taronga and uh, Priority One had a, a lot to do with it because we met up with Andrew Coker from Priority One and uh, he showed us around and uh, got a good feeling for the place and also people want to come to Taronga so it was quite a good attraction for getting engineers into, mm. into the area. And what have you learned about the engineers here in New Zealand since being not just only in Tauranga but in New Zealand? Um, the New Zealand engineers are very good. Um, the education system in New Zealand is a very high standard and the engineers coming out of university are top notch, there's, there's absolutely no problems. And a lot of them I think uh, struggle to find uh, research and development design work uh, in New Zealand. So they're attracted overseas, they tend to go to Australia or the UK and um, so for us it's ideal because we can actually catch them before they leave so to speak. Mm. And I understand that with your business here it doesn't necessarily matter where you're located, you can function and serve um, the world. Absolutely, um, a lot of our work is, is, is integrated software, we don't sort of really do computer software on computers as such but we make products that have a lot of software inside them and that software is uh, easily transportable throughout the world. We have a company in South Africa that we deal with um, very closely, we're very closely linked to them and um, we do ongoing design work for them. How does Multifid fit into the Tauranga business case for P's profit, people, potential and place? Well, for people, there's no problem. We, 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 people want to come to Taronga, um, so that's, that's a big attraction. And the, the place is ideally a situation because it's not, it's not uh, I should I say, uh, there's not a lot of people, so there's not a lot of traffic jams, um, it's easy to get around, um, there's quite a, the beaches are very nice, people like going down to the mount, um, and we have the port, which is excellent, so there's no difficulty in getting stuff in and out. Um, so overall, um, the environment is ideal and the weather is very good, which is a big thing. The only problem is in summer, of course, the guys want to go to the beach quite early, so you have to watch <laughs> that. So why did you decide to sign up with the Tauranga business case? Um, well, they came around and they saw us and we'd been talking to them for a number of years and been in quite um, closely involved with them and they do good for us. You know, they, they always put the word out and there's, there's different companies that have contacted us through them and uh, they're very, very active in the area. So when looking to establish the business, what factors do, did you consider before making the final decision? Um, I think the biggest factor of course was, was um, location, um, because for us it's got to be the right environment. We, we, we don't really need passing trade, but we need to have the right environment for the guys. We want them to stay, we don't like the guys to leave you know, very quickly. And the other big thing for us was, was cost. Um, what is, where, where do you get the best value? Um, for your money in setting up a business, you know, where does it work, um, and what what you know what benefits are there from that point of view? So, do you believe that in terms of people, place, profit, and potential, the fact that if your employees live and work in a place that they love, 
the growth will just absolutely go from yes here? they will stay um i mean there's been a change over the last couple of years even in Tarongi. there's more and more young people moving into the area um i see in, in the near future more and more the university they've really got some of the university campuses out mm. here and i expect that will grow in time as well so there will be more young people as there are more young people there are more families and um, the whole area is going to grow quite significantly i believe so why do you think that being part of the growth of Tauranga now, at the beginning, is a good position to be in? Um, it's ideal because you get known from the beginning. You can set the, the framework and the foundations. So as time goes on, then that will grow and grow. And uh, there's no, no problem with that going forward. Mm. And how do you feel with the Tauranga business case that will attract other businesses to to the region? Okay, it's self um, expanding because what happens is you get businesses like ours and we talk to companies that are making for example printed circuit boards and then they may decide that if there's enough work here that they'll come and set up a bit of a, um, a small business here and that grows and there's production and people come down and so it just it, it grows and grows um, one one business on top of another as the requirements are, are needed here yeah. mm. and as the harbour grows there's hopefully some export from here and that will make things even better. Mm. Is there anything else you'd like to add about Multifid and the Tauranga business case? Well, I don't think there's a lot that you can really say, apart from the fact that they've, they've, they're very good at uh, marketing their product in, in, in terms of uh, contacting businesses, and they're very well connected. And it's ideal for people coming to this country, they just got to go on the internet, which is what I did. You go on the internet, you have a look around, and automatically you find Priority One, and from there they're, they're very helpful, so there's no problem. Yeah. James, thanks for your time today. Thank you very much. To find out more about Multifid Technology International, you can check out their website, multifid.com. And if you want to know more about the Tauranga Business Case, the website is tauranga-business-case.com. Keep an eye out for more business in the coming weeks. That brings us to the end of the show for today and for another week. Don't forget to send us any comments you may have from tonight's guests. Email or Facebook us. Kaj and I will be back next week with more guests from in and around the region. I'm Katrina McKinley. Have a great weekend. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.